Okay guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about the myths and facts about the Filo Brasileiro during the colonization period in Brazil. So one of the most common myths about Filas is that they use Filas to, to track the, the slaves that run away. So that's not true. First, you have to say that in the colonization period, they were like two different kinds of farms. The, the big plantation farms, they were based on the ocean side. They used to be uh, only to sugar cane. And this kind of plantation needs lots of slaves and lots of people to take care of everybody. So it was like huge plantations. Uh, but they're not the same plantations who has the filas. In these plantations, they have like a lot of food, but not a lot of meat, you know. So it's not easy to feed these dogs uh, if you don't have the, a lot of production of meat. So in these farms, it's not common to have like these big dogs. So when they have these problems with the, with the slaves, they're not used to, to use the dogs to, to hunt them. They have like um, a guy uh, in Brazil, the name was Capitão do Mato. In English would be something like the captain of the woods or the forest, something like this. Uh, used to be or a black guy or a half black, half Indian. Uh, used to be a person who knows very well um, the, the, the ways that um, the slaves used to use in the forest, um, where they want to go when they run away. So they're not using the dogs. They have this guy that's a specialized, there's a profession only to, to, to looking for the, the, the slaves. So uh, the slaves are not present in these big plantation farms. The other kind of farms that they have in Brazil at the time was the cattle farms. But these farms were not based on the ocean side. These farms were in the interior of Brazil. Uh, in, during the 1700s, most of them was in the in state of Minas Gerais. And they, they have like large farms with a lot of cattle. So it was easy to feed the dogs because they used to give the, the milk, a lot of milk to the dogs, and the, the, the meat, the, the, the rest of the, the, the product of the cattle that they're not eating, they used to give to, the, to these dogs. So in these farms, there was not many of slaves because it used to be the Portuguese families, uh, they're not rich people, that move it to Brazil and uh, the, the king of Portugal give to them the property so they could have these farms but they, they had like no slaves at all or maybe one or two but used to be like people of the house you know not like slaves that was like in the movies you know or like people was very close to the owner they work together and probably they they have like the good relation with the dogs because you don't want to, to have the dogs like uh, chasing people when they are working. So this is the, the first myth. Phyllis were not used to, to track down and to hunt slaves. So the, another myth that's very common is about the hunting jaguars. So even today it's very common to have jaguars in Brazil. So, filas were used to avoid them, to keep them away of the property. So, if you see the, the big dogs, the big kangles um, run away with the, with the wolves in the, the, the Central Asia, you see it's more or less the same thing that they, they did here with the filas. Filas we used to keep the jaguars away of the farms. Maybe they go some distance uh, tracking them, but 
in the end it's not possible to like to have the fila killing a jaguar uh, you have some pictures that uh, i'll show better in the in the next video um, that i'll be talking about the book of philas uh, they have some pictures where sometimes philas can um, put a jaguar in the top of a tree but it's not possible like to kill so to finish to kill the the jaguar it's it, they need to have a human with a firearms or a knife something like this and go there and, and kill the animal so philas is very used to keep them away nowadays here in my property i have like uh in, in the neighborhood two jaguars it's not it's not the it's the same of um, the mountain lion. Is the jaguar that I have here? That's the coat like a uh, little light oh, no. brown, you know, Fico. and it's not that big. I think something like 50 kilos, 60 kilos. It's, it's big. It's not. It's not the same of the what we have. The onça pintada is the most common jaguar here in Brazil. So all my neighbors here had problem because the jaguar it's. It's break inside the houses and eating some chickens and on other animals, maybe uh, sometimes small dogs. But here in my property I had no problems because the jaguars are not coming inside and I think it's because of my feelers. You know, I have like my my couple here. So I never had any problem with the jaguars. So it's very, very good to have the fillers here because you don't have any problems with jaguars. So it's a myth that they use jaguars to hunting the uh, to use fillers to hunting the jaguars. And but it's it's true that it's very good to have them to avoid the presence of jaguars inside your property. Now talking about the facts. So the first one. The main reason that they use filas in Brazil during the colonization period is to work with the cattle. I'll bring in the future video uh, a footage that I found um, of an original fila brasileiro working with the cattle. I think the footage was done, I think, in 2010. And I'll, I'll bring in here and I'll show you how good these dogs are to work with the cattle. So. It's very easy to manage many, many cows and, and bulls with just one fila. So the main reason that the Portuguese people brought this kind of dogs to Brazil when they moved is to work. So the main reason is working with the cattle. Another situation that they use a lot of filas is uh, in a program uh, that was done by the king of Portugal at the time. The, um, the, the crown, they hire um, some people that they call bandeirantes. Uh, these people had the mission to expand, to enlarge the Brazilian border at the time because it uh, was very close to the ocean side at the beginning. So they used this these missions of bandeirantes to to enlarge the borders. So in these missions they used to have filas. In the book of filas they have pictures of these these missions. Uh, there is a guy very famous here in Brazil called um, Marechal Rondon that um, he has like pictures of this guy with filas and some notes from his diary in, in the book uh, telling stories about the filas and situations so they use the 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 dogs in in this in in this program to enlarge the the brazilians borders so filas are were used to to keep them like safe and maybe some battle with indians or another animals so I'll bring this in details in the next uh, video. So the last fact of this list is that fila was used for protection. Yes. So how was the situation during the colonization period in that cattle farms in the interiors of Brazil? So there were like big, big farms. Some parts of the farms 
had like fences but not all the farm so used to have a lot of people crossing the properties and it was okay because many times they were moving the cattle from one farm to the other farm maybe they run about 600 kilometers with the cattle so at the time it was like a good manner to mm. when you have this, yeah. these people that are working with the cattle crossing your property mm. you give them a roof to stay in the night so uh, when the people were coming um, they have to be noticed for a long time for a, a long distance because the fillers were um, like able to reach them so the owner uh, had to manage the situation so when some people are coming to the farm the, they talk to the owner and the owner say okay I'll give you a roof so they put the cattle in the, in the place that the, 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 where they have the fences and um, showing the people where they can have uh, a place to, to sleep and they close this place and they used to talk to the, to the people like okay I'll, I'll let you be here for the night and I'll be here in the morning to let you go but don't leave the place without me because the fillers will attack you so this is the, the, the way that the, the owners of the farms um, can be sure that the visitors are not doing anything wrong, you know? So uh, this was the, the first role was to work with the cattle, but the second role is to protect them from people with bad intentions. So all the time when someone wants to cross the farm, they have to, to tell the owner that they are crossing because otherwise the fillers will be attacking them. So the, the second reason was protection. So fillers were used to protection since that time. So you can see why nowadays we are using these kind of dogs to protect our homes. So I hope you guys had enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to know in the next videos here in the comments and please uh, subscribe and like the video thank you very much see you next video